win the war job. As we all know, another war-winning role is being played by women in our factories. This time, the newsreel camera is focused on the manufacture of that world-famous aero engine, the Rolls-Royce Merlin. Wing Commander Leslie, Pilot Officer Roscoe, and Flying Officer Noble happen to be visiting the factory at the same time. Oh, well, we have evening, mate. The job's going on splendidly now that we've got our new mates on the job here. This is uh, Anne sure. and Winnie. Yeah. What were you before you came here? A uh, salt packer. A salt packer? Yes. Oh, putting salt on Jerry's tail, are you? <laughs> A brief tour of the factory gives some idea of the complicated makeup of the modern engine, as well as the great care and concentration put into the job. A multiple boring machine in action with finger pressure control. A multiple driller at work on a crankcase. Facing off the crankcase. The cuttings falling off the moving tray are all saved for I need hardly say, no metal is wasted. Every part is super to the 10,000th part of an inch, or even less. Everything is closely examined and tested. The pendulum hammer making a fracture test. Here it's the tensile strength of metal. When the 15,000 parts that go to make up the Merlin have been assembled, they apply the last test but one. Unfailing power at the service of the Royal Air Force. 